Hey, welcome back to South for Your Mouth. Today we're going to do a simple recipe that I think you'll really love. We're going to do two cheese, cream cheese pies. If you like cheesecake, it's really cheesecake in a pie. I'm going to use two bought graham cracker crusts. This is a quick fix on to have a dessert. We got company coming over tomorrow night and I want to have it ready for them. I'll let them taste test it for you so you can see how good it is. It's going to take three blocks of cream cheese. These are eight ounce. A cup and a half of sugar. And we got four jumbo eggs and some vanilla. Now you mean that's all that goes in this pot? Yep. Quick and easy. You want to preheat your oven to 325. 325. I've already got two blocks of cheese in there. And this is the third one. And you can take your paper like this and just, this is room temperature by the way. You have to get it softened so you can use it. And I put the eggs out so they'll be at room temperature. How long do you leave them out? I don't know. It depends on how hot your kitchen is. Just <laughs> a few hours. But just start it beating. <laughs> Anyone can do this one. This is a very simple, simple recipe that tastes like it. You really worked really hard on it. One and a half cups of sugar while it's beating. Don't get it too high or it's going to fly out on you. My granddaughter's here, and she is going to help me by taking the lids off these pies here. Where we bought them, the little plastic cover. Thank you, Mimi. You're okay. I'm going to cut this off. We're gonna scrape down the sides. Make sure all that delicious cream cheese gets all blended. I did wash my hands real good and I got cream cheese on me, so I'll just take it off and put it back in there. He's just got the lids off of them. And later on, when it cools down, we'll put that lid back on them. We're gonna add the eggs one at a time. This one may have a double yolk, look how big. I'd be surprised, but it might. No, it's just a big yolk. <laughs> you must be yoking. <laughs> And the only reason you're doing this is to make sure all the egg is good and you don't have to ruin your product, your mixture. I'm going to turn it down and scrape it down again, or turn it off actually, just scrape it down to make sure all that comes off the side. <clears throat> and guess what else we have to put in here? Vanilla. And you know what? It's ready to bake after that. Can you believe it? So cool, it's a wonderful dessert. Easy pie. Well, <laughs> easy as pie. <clears throat> Plus it's wonderful when you're having company and you've got a lot of things to do. This makes a wonderful dessert. See my little teaspoon measure? Mm -hmm. Sticks to my refrigerator. Nice. Woo! <laughs> Add it to it. Well, it's all mixed up, ready to pour in the pie shells or pie crust. Just divide it equally. Creamy, so smooth. I didn't put enough in that one, I'll have to put more. We're gonna bake this for 35 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Now your oven, if it cooks really hot, turn it down to 325, you know, you know how your oven bakes. Plus 
Placing in the oven. Coming in hot. I guess going in cold. Oh yeah, I guess that'd be more right with it. Going in a little chilly, but going into the hot place. I'm gonna set the timer at 35 minutes and we'll check it. 35 minutes. Be Good luck, pie. <laughs> progress on the pies. Starting to rise up pretty good there. My daughter and I gave me these towels. I want you to see what's on it. Read it to me. People who love to bake are always the best people. I think our pies are done. We ended up cooking it 45 minutes. And let me say, I made an error on the uh, temperature. We cooked it at 325, not 350. 325 is where I cooked it. And this is how it looks. Now you'll see it risen up real big. And when you put it over here on the counter to get cool, it will sink down and make the most delicious cheesecake you've ever tasted. But in this case, it's gonna be a cheesecake pie. It'll just sink down in there and be compact. You want it to rise up to make sure the middle, see how that middle is cooked? You know, it's not jiggling. And all we have to do now is let it cool down and put you some whipped cream on it. And mm, 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 mm. The refrigerator wants it's cooled down and you can put, we'll put this lid on it when it's cool. Remember that little lid that was on it? And we'll put it in the refrigerator overnight. As you can see here, the pies are starting to already compact and level out a little bit like they're supposed to. Good. Hey, the pie's ready. I have my good friends here from church. This is Carolyn and Terry and Stan. Hey. Stan's going to uh, taste our pie and let you know how it is. I'm going to be the guinea pig. This is going to be great because <laughs> I know the lady that made it. She's a great lady. Um, it's almost too pretty to taste, but I'm going to do it. Here we go. Cream cheese pie. Wonderful. Mm. Great. Love it. Mm. Thumbs up. Thumbs you know, up. Good. good.